Hi, everybody. I'd like to welcome you, our uh, current Dyson customers and prospective customers, to today's discussion on increasing financial visibility, operational efficiency, and net assets focused on the unique needs of the Roman Catholic Church. So my name is John Logan. I'm the Executive Vice President of Sales at Convinci Software. One of my responsibilities is to consult with Chancery leadership in three key areas. The first, how to cost effectively automate the processes around financial and non-financial data collection and reporting. Secondly, how to communicate actionable financial insights to parish and school leadership in a manner that everybody understands. And finally, how to facilitate advisory conversations with parish and school leadership with the goal of improving net assets. So today we'll be discussing best practice strategies and resources around these topics. So if you have any questions, please put them in the chat box and I'll make sure I address them during the question and answers part of today's discussion. So from conversations with Chancery leadership of prospective Cubici customers, the vast majority agree that the economic impact COVID inflicted taught them how challenging effective decision-making was without direct visibility to parish and school financial data. Now, for those utilizing QVinci, these challenges were reduced because they had immediate access to crucial insights like what weekly offertory collections were for each parish. Also, which variable costs needed to be trimmed and by how much in order to keep a particular parish or a school's net revenue in the black and so on. So from these challenging times came the goals and objectives you see on your screen. So everyone's looking these days for more timely access to both financial and non-financial data. Uh, certainly looking to move away from manual processes when it comes to reporting and automating that. Um, trying to help improve parish and schools leaders understanding of financial information. Certainly motivating everyone to keep their QuickBooks files not only current, but also accurate. And then we have a big challenge that exists out in the Diocesan community, which is cost effectively training volunteer bookkeepers because of the amount of attrition that exists. And then lastly, and what kind of summarizes the others before it is being able to shift more chance free time to financial uh, analysis as well as advisory. So it sounds like a tall task to achieve all six, but thankfully it's, it's really not. So today we'll be discussing how dozens and dozens of archdiocese and diocese are achieving these goals every day. So first let's review the common challenge that exists for most chance free staff. Then we can spend time exploring how other dioceses have cost effectively address each of these challenges. So the first one and a big challenge for everyone is how relevant is your financial data due to the latency and the manual processes you need to take to grab it? For a lot of dioceses I talk to, they may be only seeing data on an annual basis. Maybe for the ones who are lucky, they do it quarterly versus being able to see things day in and day out, week in and week out, et cetera. Uh, next area, obviously, everyone's trying to become more proactive these days and having untimely uh, financial uh, insights causes people to be reactive. Another big challenge, parishes and schools like to use sub-accounts, but Chancery wants to do things in accounts. Thankfully, Cubinci holds a patent on automating that process to allow Chancery to be able to view accounts the way they want, and parishes and schools to be also able to be able to view their sub-accounts. So everybody wins in that scenario. We'll talk more about that. Um, another big challenge, most field leadership, as we all know, don't understand traditional financials. So now the matter is shifting focus to how can we better communicate financials in a way that everybody understands. And then lastly, we kind of touched on bookkeeping done, being done by volunteers that has inherent challenges. I mean, certainly there are logistical issues and costs associated with training people with the type of attrition rates we see out there. There's certainly data accuracy issues. And the other thing that keeps coming up is, you know, the lack of best practice sharing, especially when it comes to the unique 
you know, bookkeeping needs that surround a religious nonprofit organization. So we'll talk about those things. Most importantly, there's light at the end of the uh, proverbial tunnel for this. So Convention's reporting solutions addresses each of these challenges. Now, we facilitate a diocese ability to automate and streamline their financial and non-financial reporting process while cost-effectively gaining enhanced and actionable insights into church, school, and cemetery financials on a single location basis by deanery and also consolidating, ensuring more informed decision-making, financial transparency, and operational efficiency occurs. Now to accomplish this, Convinci automates the processes around data collection, account mapping, and reporting, providing leadership at all levels with near real-time access to the data that matters most. Our filtering capability of, allows Chancery staff to quickly and easily create ecosystem subsets to generate the reporting insights they desire. You know, things like uh, being able to report on a deanery level, or maybe you want to look at things just by revenue or geographically, maybe by congregational size. It can be any financial or non-financial criteria that you want. Chancery staff will also have access to a financial wellness dashboard called the advisory portal that provides a visual illustration of each of the parishes and schools financial health across 10 key performance metrics. And then we have business intelligence tools like the KPI scorecard that communicates financial wellness in a manner that all parish and school leaders understand by using predictive analytics, charts and graphs, and benchmarking to do that. And then finally, traditional financials and business intelligence reports in Cubinci are customizable. It can be run for a single period or multiple periods at the file as well as the class levels and for a single entity or consolidated. So now that we've established a common foundational understanding, well, let me give you a quick overview of who we are. And then we're gonna spend the rest of our time discussing the resources and capabilities that alleviate the common challenges we just reviewed with the objective of helping each of you achieve your financial goals. Based out of Austin, Texas, Givenchy is the leading provider of automated financial reporting and connects to QuickBooks online as well as any version of QuickBooks desktop. We're trusted by faith-based organizations, accounting firms and franchise brands of all size and best of all, our solution you'll find is cost effective. It's easy to use and simple to implement. And finally, we are truly blessed that Intuit, we're the providers of QuickBooks, as well as Right Networks, endorse and introduce Cubinci to their faith-based customers on a regular basis. And we're very, very blessed that our loyal customers do the same for us too. So let's spend the rest of our time taking a deep dive into each of these purposeful reporting resources. Now these tools provide chancery, church and school leaders with immediate access to financials and business intelligence insights everybody understands, as I mentioned, because Cubinci uses predictive analytics, meaning red is an unfavorable trend, green is a favorable trend. We also incorporate charts and graphs that help everybody better recognize areas that require additional attention, and also where they're doing really well. Now, the, objective of the objectives of these proven resources is for both chancery staff as well as field leaderships to address and monitor the financial health of parishes, schools, and cemeteries. And the actual in, actionable insights gleaned from Cubinci Solution has proven to improve uh, financial performance for those who utilize this. So let me show you a few examples. So we all know how busy the Chancery staff is, but most CFOs I speak with want to be more proactive in providing insights to parish and school leadership that will help maximize net assets. So Cubinci's advisory portal, it's an entity wellness dashboard that provides ch the Chancery with a single view of each entity illustrating the unfavorable 
and favorable trending for each key performance indicator you see on the right hand side of the screen. So red ratios alert chancery staff to contact church and school leadership to provide awareness to an unfavorable trend or maybe trends with the goal of delivering additional value as well as creating an advisory discussion with those folks. Furthermore, the advisory portal allows chancery staff to see these 10 KPI metrics for any of the five primary accounting periods. When you simply click on the drop down arrow in the upper right hand corner of the advisory portal, and once the new reporting period is selected, the data refreshes in seconds. So, from a practical application standpoint, if I see something in red that's unfavorable, maybe it's reporting month versus prior month, my first thought is is that something new or is it a systemic challenge? So, by simply changing my view to reporting, three months versus prior three months, it gives me a little bigger window and the refreshed data answers that question. Now, without the chancery staff having to spend a lot of time doing causality research, a click of a mouse on any of the KPI cells generates an advisory analysis card as you see on the bottom of the slide. That'll provide you with a 100 foot overview of what's causing either the unfavorable trend like you see with this 6.05% in red, or possibly it could be a favorable trend. So if you click onto the green reporting button in the lower right-hand corner of the advisory analysis card, it's gonna open up either a detailed P&L or a balance sheet, depending on what you selected from the advisory portal, that's based on the reporting period that you also selected. So let me show you what an example of that looks like. So in the lower hand, right hand part of the screen here, you can see it brought up a balance sheet reporting three months versus prior three months, as you see outlined here. And obviously it's a partial snapshot, but you would see your entire chart of accounts for your balance sheet and all the relevant data. Now, I think we can all agree that it's very difficult to make corrective recommendations if you don't have direct access to a given parishes or schools QuickBooks file, and many don't at the chancery level. So with QVinci, that challenge is eliminated because from any balance sheet or income statement, you can drill down to view the transactional details simply by clicking on any of the cells on either that uh, balance sheet report here or potentially p and now, doing this provides access to the general ledger activity view that you see on your screen. It's broken out by account. It includes all the underlying transactional data for that given account. You're able to filter any of these columns you see in front of you. You're also able to export it to Excel if you need to. So these functional capabilities make researching causality much simpler and much more time efficient process for the chancery staff. You also have access to a journal entry management system uh, that exists within Qubinchi's advisory portal. <clears throat> now, permission users can create, review, and approve journal entries and manage this process through the portal itself. Users can also toggle back and forth between the general ledger activity interface and the journal entry page. Now, this is a function that can either be turned on or turned off at the chancery level, depending on whatever you like to do. So as you've seen, these tools allow users to quickly and easily go from viewing high level data in the advisory portal to transactional data in the general ledger activity view, facilitating the ease in which chancery staff can interrogate financial data. So in summary, having access to an entity wellness dashboard like the advisory portal allows chancery staff to be more informed and better positioned to support <clears throat> parish and school leaders by having meaningful financial insights at your fingertips. I should also point out that the advisory portal and the analysis tools I showed you as well as the journal entry management system, they don't exist within QuickBooks. 
These are things that reside solely within Cubension. All right, let's turn our focus to financial reporting best practices. So as everyone's painfully aware, most parishes and school leaders aren't comfortable understanding traditional financials, thus don't recognize when and where they're financially bleeding. And for that reason, aren't seeking advisory help from chancery staff. So the KPI scorecard addresses this challenge. So it comes in three versions. There's a reporting month versus prior month. Then you have reporting month versus prior three months, as you see on your screen. <clears throat> then you have fiscal year to date versus prior year. So it provides that short, medium, and wide uh, window to be able to interrogate data, see where challenges are, but also monitor progress. And the tool also includes benchmarking that exists here on the far right hand side of uh, ecosystem performance. So the KPI scorecard can run with or without benchmarking. It's completely your choice. But think how beneficial it will be for either parish or school leadership to not only see where their own business is trend or location is trending, but also compare it to, we'll say, the weighted average of every parish within your ecosystem. And then what the top 20% looks like. So it's one thing to make sure that you know, I'm executing properly, we'll say at a parish level, but how do I really know unless I have access to benchmarking, how much better could I possibly be doing? What does that other 20% look like? Uh, so very helpful tool. Um, the tool works with any chart of accounts. And in column A, we're automatically selecting the top five income and top five expenses for any QuickBooks entity. And then we give you five KPI analysis that everybody cares about. And this in column D, we're illustrating financial wellness in a manner that everybody understands. So what we're looking at is how are we doing based on the ideal profitability range of that particular parish or school. And the ideal profitability range is set by taking the weighted average of the last 12 months for that particular, we'll say, parish, and then applying a plus or minus 2% variance to create the low and high ideal range. And if you'd like to use 2.5% or 3%, whatever the case may be that you're comfortable with, that's an easy thing to be able to set as part of account setup. But when I look at the actuals in column D, for, in, for revenue, if I am at or above the high, it's going to automatically color in green. If I'm within range, it'll be black. And if I'm at or below the low, it'll all color in red. And the exact same opposite, of course, for expenses. So this tool allows me to quickly and easily identify as that you know, parish leader or school leader where am I financially bleeding and to what degree? And that should motivate me to reach out to the chancery staff for help in figuring out what causality is and what the corrective recommendations may be. And then over the course of time, I should be able to see how well I'm implementing those recommendations simply because my reds should get smaller, they should eventually turn to black and eventually to green. So needless to say, the KPI scorecard gives very positive feedback in terms of adding value, and it's proven to catalyze advisory discussions simply because parish and school leaders can understand it. And unfortunately, like the advisory portal, the KPI scorecard doesn't exist in any version of QuickBooks. It's a Cubinci function. So also included in the scorecard package is an expense control report. So column A automatically populates with the account names of the, of the 10 largest expenses for that entity. Column B stack ranks what those expenses are. And then column C is the reporting period compared against column D. And if, since we're talking about expenses, if column C is greater than column B, it'll automatically color in red less than or equal to will be in green. 
So this also shows users where they're effectively controlling their costs, right, in green, and where they're not in red. So very helpful tool because we know some of your expenses are variable expenses. So if they're red on the KPI scorecard, that may or may not be a bad thing if it's a variable expense. If that expense is also read on the KPI or on the uh, top 10 expense analysis, then they aren't controlling it properly. So it provides a very nice perspective for people having both views. Now, we also include in the KPI scorecard package uh, business intelligence reports that graph total revenue, net revenue, which is not shown, as well as cash balance. So they all work the same way. So it's year over year, broken out by month. The y-axis automatically sizes. Active color is current year, passive color is prior year. So it gives field leadership a nice view of year over year and year to date trends in a manner that they actually understand. The other thing that's nice about it is it provides feedback to them in a different way. So as they start to see things in the KPI scorecard moving from red to black and from black to green, we want to show them what that impact is visually, right, on their bottom line, on their cash position. So all these tools work together to give them an easier view of, of the status of their financial wellness. So in addition to business intelligence tools, Givenchy also offers traditional financial reporting. One of the primary reasons why so many archdiocese and dioceses come to Givenchy is because of our reporting flexibility. We give you more than 100 report templates to choose from. They're customizable. We have the ability to blend financial data with non-financial data. Every report we have, you can export to Excel or you can export to PDF. Our filtering capabilities are great. They allow chancery staff to slice and dice financial data in any way that they want. So some of the more popular ones shown are maybe it's by, by carrier or deanery, by revenue, number of congregational families. Could be geographically, maybe by county or something. Uh, we see urban versus suburban. Uh, a lot of the dioceses that are sitting on coasts like to also look at things as uh, coastal versus inland because of the, the economic diversity that exists between those two areas. So it's, it gives you flexibility to quickly and easily see what you want. I'm gonna walk you through some common report examples here in a second. But I also wanted to touch on the fact that we can do custom reporting. So maybe you're looking for a custom typing report or something. I will tell you right now, uh, one of the projects in development is automating the Bishop's annual report. I mean, think how much time and effort that is gonna save to be able to take something that may take weeks or even months with your staff's time to literally be able to do in a press of a button. We can take that down to seconds and minutes worth of time. So that said, the next five slides will illustrate some examples of some common reports that are used by a lot of uh, chancery staff. But like I said, there's over 100 to choose from. So this is an example of balance sheet by entity. I happen to have selected four parishes when I when I uh, ran this, but I could have selected all 125 or 150 or 200 or however many you have. Um, this could have just as easily been a PL by entity if I would have selected that particular type of report. So to get data like this, a click of a button and literally seconds later, it's up on your screen for you. This is a monthly by entity offertory collections report. So something like this, again, I could have run it across one to many, including all within a particular diocese. It could also be run for a period of maybe a given week or quarterly, or maybe it's fiscal year to date. All those types of options are available to you to see the data that you need to see. Here's a partial snapshot of a summary year over year income statement that's broken out by quarter. 
Obviously, I'm only showing the first two quarters of all four that we normally be seeing here. Um, there's also a detailed version of this type of report. Again, it's whatever you need or want to be able to see is available to you. There's a partial snapshot of a fiscal year to date budget versus actual report. Now, to run this type of report, the budget does need to be inside of QuickBooks. It could be run at the file level. It could be run at the class level also. So with more than 100 different report templates to choose from, hopefully I've shown you the initial view of the type of flexibility Givenchy offers to meet your particular reporting needs. Now, as I mentioned before, we can also create custom reports if and when needed for you. You're able to select specific accounts or maybe specific sections of your chart of accounts. You can report on financial as well as non-financial data. Like we can even mix balance sheet and, and income financials on the same report if that's what your bishop wants. We can create KPI calculations that include benchmarking like I showed you on the KPI scorecard. But at the end of the day with Givenchy, financial reporting is simple, it's flexible, it's actionable, and it's timely. All right, so let's face it. No matter how beneficial a solution may be, if it is a nightmare to implement, the question is, is it really worth the trouble? Do you really want another headache? Well, thankfully, implementing Convention is straightforward. Chancery staff is thorough. Post-training support is always free. We're based in Austin, Texas, as I mentioned. So our customer success team is available to you all Monday through Friday, 7.30 a.m. to 6.30 p.m. Central Time. You can email them, you can call them, you can have access to your customer success manager's calendar so you can schedule 15 or 30 minutes with them, whatever you need. But what's nice is post-training support is always free. We do not believe in nickel and dime air clients. We don't think that's good business. Now, if you're looking to implement Qvenchy, right, we have a dedicated faith-based customer success team that's going to partner with you to connect all your QuickBooks entities. We're going to help you set up account mapping. We're going to help partner with you to do the initial mapping. We're going to help you select reports and create report packages for you that will provide the chancery, the parishes, and the school leadership with the financial and business intelligence insights that you desire. Finally, we're going to teach everybody how to use Qvenchy. Now, what's nice is Qvenchy is a very powerful tool. But if you're interested in finding out more about it and we take you through a demo, you're going to find that it is a very easy tool for users uh, to be able to effectively utilize. Now, because the church, because of the church's reliance on volunteer bookkeepers at many of your parishes and schools, there are certainly inherent financial and logistical challenges that arise that Kibinchi's QuickBooks training for re religious organizations will alleviate. So as a side note, upon implementing Kibinchi, one of the first things the Chancery staff is going to realize is which parish and or school volunteers either aren't keeping the books up to date or more of a bigger challenge is which ones aren't properly doing data entry. So to address these types of challenges, Givenchy offers a monthly comprehensive group training seminar. They're held on the third week of each month. They teach volunteers how to better utilize QuickBooks to improve efficiency, but most importantly, to increase bookkeeping accuracy by focusing on best practices relative to the church's unique accounting needs. Now, what's nice is these seminars are, are taught by accountants who specialize in supporting religious organizations. They talk in a manner of which everybody can understand. And these training classes include post-training surveys to provide feedback to the chancery staff, as well as to the training instructors on, to make sure that the information we delivered aligned with what the attendees' needs were. 
So I encourage everyone, if you're having challenges like this, to send your new volunteer bookkeepers and those who may be struggling with data accuracy issues to one of our QuickBooks training webinars. I think you'll find it to be very beneficial. And as you see on your screen, it's very cost effective. So in conclusion, conventions used by many archdiocese and dioceses simply because our solution is cost effective, it's easy to implement, and most importantly, the actionable financial insights and business intelligence that are derived are invaluable to ensuring more informed decision making, financial transparency, and operating efficiency occurs. So with that said, Brad, uh, are there any questions that I can answer for anybody? Uh, yes, we have a few of them from, from the audience. Um, the first question is, does Kavinci connect to QuickBook desktop files hosted at Right Networks? Yeah, good question. Um, absolutely, we do. We probably have thousands of uh, archdiocese and diocese files sitting over at Right Networks. But Juventus is flexible. Um, it doesn't have to be just right networks, even though that's where a lot of people go. It can be any hosting provider out there. Um, even we can handle it if uh, the QuickBooks desktops reside on a local uh, PC or server at a, at a parish or a school. So a lot of flexibility for us to be able to connect the QuickBooks desktop. Okay, all right, we have a few more. Uh, the second question is, are there any limits to the number of QuickBook files or classes that can be consolidated? Yeah, from a practical standpoint, the answer is no, there's not. Um, we can consolidate data. Uh, we have franchise brands who have thousands of QuickBooks files connected to us, uh, diocese with hundreds of them, but we also have dioceses that have you know, thousands of classes connected. So from a practical standpoint, there are no limitations to our reporting capabilities for, for anybody associated with the church. Okay, uh, next question is, who can I talk to about automating our annual bishops reporting process? Yeah, um, Tell you what, I'm, I'm happy to help with that. You see my contact information up on your screen. Feel free to email me at johnl at uh, Also jot down my mobile number. We definitely talk. Um, yeah, the things that we can do with an annual bishop's report, is just, it, it's just, it's fantastic. Uh, I hear nightmares when I'm talking to CFOs and the amount of time it takes their staff to gather the data, to put in the right format, to make sure it's accurate. And we're talking about weeks and in some cases months to do and, and literally Kivinci can do it with you know the presses of a button. So uh, uh, I'll make sure I get your contact information and we will uh, we'll connect and we can talk more about that. Okay, okay. All right, next question. Um, we use Kivinci and rely heavily on the visibility of your solution that your solution provides my staff. I want to implement the KPI scorecard you showed for our parishes and schools. How can I do that? And is there an additional cost associated with that? Okay, great question. So first of all, uh, glad you're excited about the KPI scorecard. We get tremendous feedback on it. I think you're gonna find it to be very, very helpful. Um, in helping your parish and school leaders understand how they're financially performing. Uh, there is no additional cost for that tool. It is a standard tool, one of the uh, 100 plus reports that we have available to you. So that's good news. Uh, in order to get it implemented, not a problem either. Um, you can always reach out to me directly. Again, my email is in front of you on the screen. You can also always, uh, email support at qvinci.com and one of our Dyson customer success managers will reach out to you and help you work through that process. But it's very simple and easy to implement. Uh, so feel free to reach out to any of us and we'll take good care. Okay. 
Uh, another question. If we implement Kavinci, do we have to sign a long-term contract? Yeah, great question. Uh, the answer is no. Everything in Kavinci is month to month. We want to make sure that we're solving the issues that you have. Now, that said, the vast majority of the archdiocese and diocese who do business with us, once established, ask us if we will sign a multi-year agreement with them, because what they're interested in is making sure that their price point is locked for a given period of time, which just simply helps them more effectively budget. So we got a lot of flexibility around that, and we're going to do whatever makes you the most comfortable. Okay. Uh, last, uh, next question is, I think your QuickBooks training course would be helpful for many of our volunteer bookkeepers. When is the next date? Okay, let me look here. So our next available session that has open seats is May 16th and 17th, which is a Monday and Tuesday. And the course is from 1 o'clock Eastern time to 3 o'clock Eastern time. Now, if that day doesn't work for you, we run these classes every single month, and it's always the third Monday and Tuesday of each month. So you're going to get four total hours of training split over two different days so it doesn't take too much time out of somebody's schedule. Now, these classes right now are focused just on QuickBooks Desktop. So if you're using QuickBooks Online, I want to let you know that more than likely sometime in the back half of this year, we're going to start offering courses for QuickBooks Online. Right? But for now, the classes we have are desktop focused. Okay. Um, um, thank you, John. Um, I think that uh, we have uh, some other questions, but I don't know if we have time to get into all of them. I think we'll just, uh, please let everyone know that someone with Kavinci will be reaching out to everyone to the extent we cannot get to their, their questions. Sure, sure. Not, not a problem. We definitely want to be respectful of everybody's time. Um, so as Brad said, uh, I'll either myself or someone on my staff will reach out to you uh, tomorrow if we, uh, if we didn't get to your question. I want to thank everybody for their time. Um, uh, to get more acquainted with Cubinci's automated reporting, business intelligence, data collection, data consolidation, and QuickBooks training solutions. Uh, please contact me if you have any additional questions or if you want a demo to see how Cubinci uh, works, also shoot me an email. Right? Our only objective is to partner with you to help you achieve your reporting and net revenue goals. So with that said, thanks again for your time. I hope each and every one of you have a blessed day. Take care.